seven and three hundred seventy five thousand. Wow, that's a big number, right? OK, now I'm going to move down to problem number three. Problem number three says a rope 8.7 meters long is cut into five equal pieces. How long is each piece? So we know that the rope is 8.7 and you're dividing that by five equal pieces. They want you to plug this number into an equation. So that's what I did. My first number, which is 8.7, is going to be my dividend, the number that goes inside, and my divisor is a 5. How many times can 5 go into 8? One time. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Bring down my 7. 5 can go into 37. How many times? It can go into 37 five times. 7 times, sorry. 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Subtract. 7 minus 7. 5 is equal to 2. I'm running out of room, so I wrote it down here. I'm going to add a 0 because my remainder is a 2. I'm going to bring down my 0. 5 can go into 24 times. 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. And notice that I'm bringing my decimal right up. Okay? Now, for problem number 4, it says here, Yasmin bought 6 gallons of apple juice. After filling up 4 bottles of the same size with apple juice, she had 0 0.3 gallons of apple juice left. How many gallons of apple juice are in each container? So I want you to picture in your head how many apple juice bottles she has and how many gallons of apple juice that she needs to make sure she has. Okay? Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I draw my equation out so that you guys can kind of see it a little bit more clearly. Give me one second. Okay. So reading this again, Yasmin bought six gallons of apple juice after filling up four bottles of the same size with apple juice she had 0 0.3 gallons of apple juice left so i'm going to draw a picture so you guys can kind of see that more visually okay um, i'm going to draw it out and i know that there are five that is being split so i'm going to make sure i draw five pieces one two three four five okay I know that we are looking for how much there is for one and we don't know yet how much there is. Well, we do know that it is about, let's see. So we're trying to figure out this one right here. And to figure that one out, I need to make sure I subtract. So I'm going to subtract six gallons. So six gallons. And I'm going to subtract that by 0 0.3 gallons of apple juice. Okay, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. Bring down my decimal. 6 changes to a 5. 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. So I get 5.7. So I know that this is equal to 5.7. And over here, what I have left is 0 0.3. So now what I'm going to do is I know that there are 6 pieces in all. One, two, three, four, five. I forgot the sixth one. But there are six pieces in all, and I'm going to divide that by 5.7. Okay? Six can go into five zero times. Five minus zero is equal to five. Bring down my seven. Six can go into seven. How many times? Six can go into, oh, sorry, not seven, 57. Six can go into 57. Oh, wait, I just realized something. This one is four. Okay, so four. The reason being is there are four bottles of the same size with apple juice. That's what I'm dividing, okay? So I have four. Four can go into five one time. Subtract. Five minus four is equal to one. Bring down my seven. Four can go into 17 four times. 16 minus, 17 minus 16 is equal to 1. Add a 0, bring it down. 
4 can go into 10 2 times. Subtract. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Add another 0. Bring it down. 4 can go into 25 times. I kind of ran out of space, but if I could keep going, I would subtract 20 minus 20, which is equal to 0. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. And then I need to make sure that I bring up my decimal right here. So my final answer is 1 and 425 gallons. I'm going to review this question over again so you guys understand it a little bit better. So we know that Yasmin bought 6 gallons, right? So that's the number that we have for apple juice. After filling up 4 bottles of the same size with apple juice, she had 0 0.3 gallons of apple juice left. So we know her leftover was about 0 0.3. So we are subtracting that number in order to figure out how much she filled her 6 gallons of apple juice bottles with, okay? So with the four bottles, I would divide, and I would divide 5.7 because that's how much she poured into the four bottles, and divide it by four to see how much each bottle gets. And they're going to get 1.425 gallons. Okay? So that is all for today. Have a great rest of your day.